Under Xi Jinping in the last decade, it's got much stronger. And the reason for that is that the Chinese, uh, number one, don't want to have an adversary on their vast northern and northwestern border. Uh, two, they want to be free strategically to uh, take on their principal regional and global strategic adversary, which is uh, the United States. And three, Russia serves a, a range of other Chinese strategic interests by distracting the United States in the Middle East and now as we see in Europe. And it's the document which says there are now no limits to any sphere of strategic collaboration between Moscow and Beijing. It is new, it's big, and I believe it also gave Putin some confidence uh, that China would have his back uh, once he embarked upon his military campaign in Ukraine. I think uh, overall, uh, Hannah, it's um, still um, a very long-term strategic view in Beijing that they see uh, Russia as a useful um, and reliable partner. China says that it upholds the UN Charter. A core principle of the UN Charter is, uh, in their view, in their state-centric view, is uh, mutual uh, uh, non-interference. It's respect for political sovereignty, and it's certainly respect for territorial integrity of other UN member states. Now, clearly, uh, Russia has violated all three of those principles with a full-scale territorial invasion of another sovereign state, Ukraine. However, China in the Security Council uh, and in its own public statements refuses to call it an invasion, refuses to call it as a violation of international law, despite what the UN Charter says in Article 2 about the inviability of every individual nation state's political sovereignty and territorial integrity. However, the idea that um, the Russians would directly militarily engage uh, in support of Chinese positions, security positions in East Asia, I think at this stage is a bridge too far uh, for Moscow to consider, is that if Putin continues to fare badly militarily, and we are moving slowly towards a military stalemate. Perhaps the Chinese at uh, one minute to midnight will seek to intervene in order to be seen to be um, organizing or mediating a ceasefire, partly designed for their domestic um, public opinion, which is more divided on Russia and Ukraine than we think, and partly to appease the Europeans. But at this stage, there has been no substantive role played despite the fact that President Zelensky last week asked the Chinese to use their good offices with Moscow to bring about a ceasefire and a Russian withdrawal. difference with a new type of great power relationship is this. Um, new type of great power relationship envisaged by Xi Jinping was fully cooperative, so long as the Americans acknowledged uh, the um, China's strategic red lines particular leadership posture of Xi Jinping, who's become much more assertive than his predecessors, and therefore has brought about a series of reactions to him um, by the United States as well. I think in, if you look at the worldview of Xi Jinping, he regards himself as leading a new era in the Chinese Communist Party. Um, a parallel criticism of Xi Jinping domestically about him having got too close to the Russians and too close to Vladimir Putin in particular, uh, way out ahead of where the Chinese foreign and security policy establishment would normally be comfortable with. The Chinese critique of the American idea of the global rules-based order is this. They say, uh, this is an American construct. The Chinese say, we believe in the international system. An international system is that anchored only in the UN Charter. Of course, that's where China has the power of veto in the Security Council, and also where China has um, shares with Russia, if you like, a second power of veto in the Security Council. Mm -hmm.